is 10416 Chaparro Drive Northwest, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, so what we love about this home is it has a three car garage. That gar third car garage actually has a drive through and an area to be able to park your RV in the back. It's really awesome. It's also been very handy for whenever we have um, yard work. We've been able to, um, we put grass in the backyard this summer and we were able to drive through with soil and with the sod and go straight to the area. So it's been awesome. Um, I love that it's a quiet neighborhood. I'm actually standing in the middle of the street to film and it's not a problem. Um, something else that's awesome about the placement of this neighborhood is there's major roads. They're really close. So if you go out this neighborhood, um, you'll get to Seven Bar Loop. When you take a left on Seven Bar Loop, it takes you to Coors. And um, when you're going down Seven Bar, back that way, Siwa is behind our house, um, Siwa High School. Um, and then when you take a right on Seven Bar, it takes you right up to Seven Bar Elementary, which is really close. Um, and it also goes to Ellison. Um, as you can see, everyone really takes care of their homes. There's a lot of pride in home ownership here. I love that the location is really close to Walmart, Costco, the Smiths that is fantastic. Um, I have um, had people tell me that live on other parts of Albuquerque that they come to the Smiths because it's always well stocked. It's awesome. Um, we like that our front yard is really easy to maintain. Um, we have a sprinkler system going for that. Um, since it doesn't require a lot of water, we just give it a couple minutes every week. Um, I like that the sprinkler system is set up into zones and you can allot different time amounts for different parts of the house. Alright, this is a view when you walk into the home. I love this cutout area um, because it holds a rollout desk. I know um, a lot of people like to have a little shelf where you can have cubby holes for boxes for toys or a place to hang up jackets to hook up. Um, it's a nice area. There's another home that I've been to in this neighborhood that's similar in layout to ours and they have their piano on that wall. When we moved in, the whole room had carpet and we took that out and put the Paradigm vinyl flooring in and we have loved it because it makes it easier to be able to actually use it as a dining room area. Um, I love this ledge. It allows you to be able to uh, decorate for the holidays and not have little fingers touching and breaking things. So we get a lot of compliments on that because we put our um, family photos up on the ledge and then have some decorations. As you can see, it's a large area, very open, great lighting. And we're gonna go through this way. So um, this whole house wraps around like in a circle on the main floor. And I love this closet. It has two levels, as you can see. There's one level for hanging and then there's another. I know we have a bunch of um, <coughs> emergency preparedness stuff stocking it so you can't see, but it goes back really deep. There's tons of storage in this home. You'll have to forgive me for the crazy closets. Because we're in the process of moving a lot of our things from closets right now, so they're all just kind of crazy. Um, I love that this has an extra open up full lighting cl lighted closet. Um, I have some built to where we have shelves, floor to ceiling, and then this shelf was in there originally. And when you flip around to the other side, there's an awesome sized laundry room. And we put cabinets in, and I wanted to update it to where it just looked really nice. It was kind of a calm, cozy place to be in. Uh, when we moved in, it just had yucky, um, older vinyl, and had a little bit of a shelf and I just wanted it to have an adequate place to store things but also that you could close it and have it be tucked away and have it look really nice. Um, I love that it has a door to be able to close it because if you can't get to all of your laundry you can always put a basket of clean laundry in here um, and not um, have decluttering your home um, and then it has room to put baskets down here if you prefer to. Um, and then there's a garage door. Um, the reason why we bought this home specifically was because it had a guest room on the main floor. Uh, many of the homes that we looked at that are five bedroom in the area have a master bedroom on the main floor. And we wanted to be able to have our bedroom with the kids and then be able to have a uh, room for our guests to stay that was complete and cozy um, and yet to themselves a little bit. Um, so it could also start, serve as like a mother. Hall from the guest bedroom, we have a full bath. It's very handy when you have, a, when you have guests staying or if you have term person staying who needs their own space that they have a full bathroom. We love
love that it has the shower and the bath because there have been times when the kids have been messing the backyard and we've had to hurry and run them in for a bath or while they're eating dinner or something and we were able to just run them through quickly as you can see we updated the faucet and the hardware and then across from the bathroom there's this closet we call the Harry Potter closet uh, it's it's a little shorter it's a little bit lower than my shoulder length and we love it because it gives the kids a separate area to play in that goes through the rest of the length underneath the stairs. So all of the space underneath the stairs utilized in storage closets. This is the second living room. As you can see, there's tons of natural light coming in through the back. And once again, you can also see the beautiful view of the mountains all throughout the house. Then it's nice because it allows you to have an area where the kids can play and you don't have to worry about it keeping perfectly clean because it's tucked away a little bit. Um, but it's a great size with the sectional and there's still plenty of room. There have been times when we've had a rocking chair recliner here that's large and it fit in just fine. And here's our kitchen. It's a fantastic size. It's very open. I love that I can be in here cooking dinner or doing dishes and still be able to watch the kids what they're doing here or I can even see into the backyard from the kitchen. I love our gas stove. So there's a perfect view of the yard from here. I love that there's a separate area for eating in here apart from the dining room because it allows us to have more guests over and with the floors being on this floor and the tile being in here, we can have lots of kids over too. And the pantry is huge. I get compliments on the pantry often. So it's floor to ceiling. It allows us to even keep our appliances. I love that there's a landing here for those of you who have small kids or grandkids that are at your home. Having a landing is nice because as you know when people are learning to climb stairs oftentimes there's little falls and so um, this breaks it up to where they're not falling from quite such quite a such a quite height. Um, this is a nice built-in shelving set that my husband made for us. Um, and we get compliments on this a lot because it holds tons of stuff in the cabinets and there's room for plenty of books. We actually homeschool, and so we were able to hold all of our homeschooling things and our school supplies, like our buckets of um, crayons and markers and paints and things like that. It holds a lot. I like this loft. It has an area, enough area where you can have it be like a playroom area for the kids, or you could have like a chair here to have like a reading area. It's awesome. All right. So this is a five bedroom home, but four of the bedrooms are upstairs. Um, this is the first of the bedrooms. We've actually, at one point, had a queen bed in here with a crib and with dressers um, when we had family living with us. So the rooms are all very spacious. And you can see, once again, they all have the large closets. Each of the rooms have the large closets. Um, another thing I love about the home is, um, you can see that little church there and then that red building right there. Um, that red building is Seven Bar Loop Elementary. It's a very nice elementary. It's very desired. And it's nice because you can just walk down the street, up that road, and then you're right there. As you can see, all of these bedrooms are huge. Um, they have the closets right here. Um, we love that it has kind of like a little window area, window seat area. Um, so we put pillows there to make it a little reading nook for the girls. Um, but as you can see, it's big enough to where you can put a dresser right here if you need it. There's still wall space, even though we have two chest of drawers in there. Here are the bookshelf. Large rooms. This is 
the kids' bathroom. Once again, all of the bathrooms are full size, which makes it very nice. Um, we updated the sinks and the bars and everything. When we were moving into this home, when we were looking at it, we could tell that it was a beautiful home that just needed some updating, and we have tried to do our best to really make it nice updates. So we thought we were going to be here for a long time. And so we put in high quality carpet just this year. We painted the whole thing top to bottom basically. Um, this is the linen closet upstairs in the loft. Um, I'll leave a link to the carpet that we did. We get compliments on the carpet all the time. Um, we put a thick pad in to help it last longer. Um, the carpet is supposed to be a 25 year carpet. Slide all the way through for color so you won't have that fading problem or staining. And then we did 40 ounces, which is about this thick of carpet you can get in residential homes. So here's one of the closets, you can see how large they are. So it goes to the side where there's enough room to put boxes. And on this closet, they actually have lifting shelving that they've done too. As you can see, this home has tons of storage area for people who need storage. I also love that there's lots of natural light in the home. Um, as you can see, every room that we go in is really well lit. This room has also, at one point, when we had family living with us, had a queen bed and dressers in it. So um, we use it as a nursery now, but there's tons of space. Okay, and now this takes us to the master bedroom. Um, because of the balcony, we've actually had people up here before um, for like fireworks, um, to look at the balloons during Balloon Fiesta, and we get compliments on our location and how large this room is and everything. It is just a spectacular area. Um, as you can see, this room is ginormous. So we have a chair, another chest of drawers. This could easily, this is a queen size bed, it could easily fit a king size bed and still have tons of room. It's just huge. Um, there's a nice walk-in closet with a cute little monkey in it. Okay, just a minute. I will be able to help you in just a minute, okay? I'll show you the mountains outside. I love the master bath. So it has a jutted tub and a stand-up shower. I would love to get you a snack in a moment. A toilet room. We updated all of the hardware in here as well. Oh, I really love that it has this cabinet. It's huge. So it breaks up into two different pieces. I'm going to save the best part for last the balcony. city and it's also really nice in the neighborhood we're situated at the top so we have a lot of quiet space um, I love that people can't see into our yard I love that it's fully fenced so you can have the kids play and you don't have to worry about it there's a side door over here which makes it really convenient for being able to take the trash out um, we have the grass uh, type of grass that is good year round. I wish that you could see it during the summertime when the vines are nice and pretty. Um, originally when we moved into this home we were going to have this area over here being a garden area um, but then the kids loved it so much being able to have a place to dig. All the kids in the neighborhood, all the people have their grandkids over, it just um, it's so much fun and so we have it as like a digging area slash a place for um, grilling like a fire pit area um, and then as you can see there's um, tons of uh, pa patio area to be able to ride around the bikes and stuff the kids like to do that with their little tricycles I just can't say enough about how gorgeous the view is I wish I had a video of during the limp yesterday there was once when I was uh, having family in town and I had posted on Facebook asking where the best place in the city was to go for Balloon Fiesta. And several people wrote back, your backyard, your balcony, and it's so true. The 
balcony is incredible. There's been times when we've counted over 200 balloons in the sky and they'll fly right over the house. And wave to the kids, it's awesome. We really, really love this area. Um, and then it wraps around. And I'll take another video um, of the backyard. This is the backyard. This is the area I was talking about, how it's the third car garage that opens up on the opposite side. And as you can see, it has RV parking to be able to drive through. And we've actually driven straight through whenever we've done yard work. Here's more of the vines that are really green um, during the summer. And then you already had a balcony view of the yard, but it's just going to walk through really quick. So you can see it from the ground level. This back patio that's covered is awesome due to the balcony. Um, I love it because there's lots of windows that let in tons of light, but the um, the patio prevents it from getting super hot. It shades the area directly around the house. So our cooling bill is so, so inexpensive. It's awesome. We sure love it.